This is Dafina Russell reporting live from The Wire in Berwyn, Illinois, and I am sitting next to the beautiful Lindsay and Moxie. How oh, are you? I'm doing well. You for Very sure exciting. are doing well. Oh my God, your performance was like earth shattering. Thank you. It was so amazing. That means a lot. Like your voice is like unparalleled to, you know. Thank you. Not me. I really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I really appreciate great that. voice. Thank so you. tell me about Lindsay and Moxie. Okay, um, I'm from a South suburb of Chicago. Okay. Um, I'm actually a military kid, so I was born in the OC Irvine. Um, we moved around, but my parents settled in Flossmoor, which is a South suburb of Chicago. Um, grew up there, um, was trained operatically for soprano um, in classical music, um, have music on both sides of my family, and really was in competitive choir, sang, traveled around singing. And um, when I got, when I became a senior in high school, I was like, I don't want to do this shit anymore. And, <laughs> but went down to Spelman um, and really found my jazz voice um, and really just got into the roots of everything. Um, I grew up though on Phyllis Hyman, Angela Bowfield, Whitney Houston, like singing for singing with my father's vinyl. So I've always like been rooted in, you know, Black Sound, Nina Simone, Shaka Khan, all those really big hitters that Diana Ross that really helped me appreciate not just the sound, but also the methods of sound and really finding your identity in music. So for me, it's always just been ingrained in my soul, like on both sides, like, and I'm just appreciative that my parents just encouraged it and supported it on so many different facets. And it's just come full circle because being a teacher full time and being able to like actually do music because I have summers off has been really, really dope and really allowed me to grow in a different way. So yeah, you can definitely tell that this is coming from the soul, like seeing your performance. Thank you. I mean, it really touched me. I really appreciate that. So Soror. Soror. Mm -hmm. Yes. So <laughs> Lindsay Ann Moxie. Lindsay Ann is your, your government name. Yes. Moxie. Where does Moxie come from? Okay. So there's a couple, um, a couple stories with Moxie. It's actually my line name. But before it became my line name, it was, I've always been infatuated with words. Um, I'm an English teacher, and so I've always been into how do I articulate myself to the best way that I possibly can. And so I've always been big on like reading the dictionary and really being able to stimulate myself through vocabulary. And so like, I just really wanted to find something that really I felt embodied me, but also allowed me to grow and progress with the, with the name. And Moxie means the audacity to be oneself, um, the nerve to allow yourself to just continue to grow. I tell my students all the time, for every one thing you know, there's a trillion things you don't. Right. And so, you know, as Socrates says, I know nothing. And it's kind of very freeing because when you're giving moxie, it's like, I'm just being me. I'm just flowing through my spirit. And that's really where it comes from is you can be anything. Um, black women, we're intersectional, we're dimensional, we're complex. We're not just one idea of self. And so for me, moxie is not just a representation of myself, but all my ancestors that I sit on the shoulders of. And of course, my Spelman sisters and everything that's helped me become the woman that I am. I'm a big reader. Toni Morrison, Audre Lorde, um, Gwendolyn Brooks, like all of those women, I just am rest assured that they affirm myself and who I'm growing into as a woman of color. Come through with this beauty and brains. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I tried a little bit. <laughs> so the piece that you performed today was an original piece. Yes. It was. The name of the piece and the message behind it. Yeah. Um, Young Life. Um, before I became a teacher, I used to work in the fashion industry in New York. Um, and I realized that it was just a really soul-sucking, sort of shallow job. No offense. I love fashion. I love clothes. I love the idea of being able to tell your story aesthetically. But for me, I needed something a little bit deeper. So I moved back home and, like... Went back to school, got my master's in teaching, worked on the west side of North Lawndale, the south side on Sunday Ooh, night, all Gresham, and really teaching black kids, like kids can recognize fake. And so at the end of the day, like it really helped me root into who I am, not just as a person, but a person of color, a woman of color, and understanding that I come from a place of privilege as well. You know what I'm saying? My, both my parents are college graduates, but like having having conversations with students and kids that come from different experiences, especially in the different parts of the city, but also around the country, it's important to understand that it's not just about yourself. So Young Life really stimulated from me being frustrated with the system, me being frustrated with corporate and trying to find my voice and really just saying, I make mistakes, I fuck up. Like I say, pick up your ass, get with the show. Like we live in this Young Life, we all out here millennials 
YZ generation, we're trying to figure out who we are. And so the song is really to talk about, you know, I woke up Sunday morning still drunk from the night before. Like sometimes you have the moments where you just, you know, but then you, I wake up in the mornings feeling so lonely. No, I gotta focus. No, I gotta hustle. I see my people's struggles. Like it's about this entire motion of we have our ebbs and flows and we're flawed people, but that's okay. And that's what makes us beautiful. So. Ah, uh, chills. So before I wrap up the interview, there were panelists out there that offered you the opportunity to open up for possibly Chance the Rapper. I'm like, just exciting. Like, that is know, just so, I'm like, just, how do you feel? God. <laughs> That's all I can really say is God. Like, I get emotional. Like, you know, you just have to stay steadfast. Like, I do devotionals on a regular basis. I recommend that for everybody. Like, yes. Affirmations affirmations mantras you just gotta stay focused and stay authentically you like it's just god it's just god i i thank them i thank the universe father mother god for just giving me a gift and i hope i can just reach you know certain heights to really give back to my community it's about it's not just about me it's about all of the people that were before me that i just humbly appreciate you know it's about all of us being together as human beings so i'm very humble Thoroughly enjoyed this interview. Thank you so much. Lindsay and Moxie, where can individuals find you on social media? You can find me at M-O-X-I-E underscore A-N-N. Um, I'm on all platforms, Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, YouTube. There'll be some visuals coming out. My EP's Forget Me Nots. I have some new music coming out as well. I'm super excited about. Um, but check me out. Um, give me a listen and come join me on my journey um, to really grow and progress and become enlightened. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. You get hugs. Oh, the pleasure. No handshake. Thank you.